Welcome to this video. Africa presents Eve and Ancestral DNA? Mitochondrial DNA L, abbreviated mtDNA L, is often touted as the ancestral DNA or the ancestor of all modern humans. This way she also becomes the supposed first woman, and that supposed first woman obviously carried this supposed ancestral DNA, and is by some called mitochondrial Eve or African Eve. Consensus also claims that all humans inherited her mtDNA. That is a very bold claim and mtDNA and especially mtDNA L is not a good and trustable marker and quite enigmatic, but that is better analyzed in other videos. For now I would prefer to call her the woman that consensus claims to be ancestral Eve or the ancestral mother of all actual humans. Further this by consensus supposed first woman of which consensus claims. 1. That she is the ancestor of all modern humans. 2. That she is African and consequently that all humans come out of Africa. The way consensus puts it, some could think that there is no further need to try to find and prove the male part of the ancestor of all humans, this would however turn the research and any conclusion incomplete. I think that the form of the claim of consensus would have been more correct if consensus had claimed this supposed first woman to be the female part of the ancestors of all humans. The fact that a claim was made, long ago, is not a proof of the correctness of that claim. I insist to mention that the best situation for any claim regarding this mitochondrial DNA L. 1. Being the DNA of the first woman. 2. Being African. 3. Being ancestral DNA. Would have been to have found a fossil of this mitochondrial Eve, or at least of some early down-the-line descendant of this supposed mitochondrial Eve obviously presenting this mtDNA L, or at least a proven descendant of it. However no such fossil was ever found. Therefore, for now 1 and 2 are only suppositions that need to be used together to support the hypothesis that Africans are the ancestors of all humans. In other words, there is no proof that the supposed ancestral DNA 1. really represents that of the origin of all humans and 2. that it originated in Africa. I very well understand that consensus made these assumptions, and why consensus made the assumption, that mitochondrial Eve is. 1. The ancestral DNA of all humans and. 2. That it originated in Africa. But without finding a fossil, this assumption is not, proven. With all the efforts that were put into finding such a fossil it is a bit of enigmatic, even for African standards, it is not found yet, while such fossils were found in South America that presents a far worse situation to preserve fossils. Later I also will argue why I think the consensus assumption is untrue or at best incomplete. Consensus little proof? Even if what consensus claims, regarding mtDNA, was proven, this still would be surprisingly little proof, considering all the important statements that are made by consensus, which all revolve around this mtDNA L. I argue that if proven, this would be little proof because amongst others mtDNA. 1. is only a tiny or, in base pairs expressed, insignificant part of the total DNA that we humans carry. 2. mtDNA is more bacterial than that it is human. 3. mtDNA is not even nuclear DNA. 4. mtDNA is by far the type of DNA that has the least value as ancestral marker and as MIG rational marker. To avoid that some viewers would think that I discriminate women, at this point, I insist on preventing such thoughts by claiming right away that the DNA of women is more considerable than that of men in more than one sense, and that women, and females in general, are far more important in the populating of the world than men are. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.